Okay, this video is on the constant of proportionality. Well, what is that? The constant of proportionality, k, is the rate of change or constant ratio between x and y, where y equals kx. In an equation, for example, y equals 2x, the constant of proportionality is 2. Let's try a few more examples from equations. y equals 2 thirds x. The constant of proportionality is 2 thirds. For 4y equals 8x, we have to put it in the format 4 equals kx. So we would divide both sides by 4, and we find that the constant of proportionality is 2. Negative y equals x. Again, we're going to need to put it in the correct format. So we would divide both sides by negative 1, and we come up with y equals negative 1x. You would probably see it as negative x, which would indicate there is a negative 1 in that k position. Calculating the constant of proportionality from a table of values. So here we have a table showing the number of days worked, and the corresponding pay. First, we need to find the rate of pay that is per day. So 40 divided by 2 is $20 a day. That's the rate of pay per day. The constant of proportionality for the values in this table is 20. 2 times 20 is 40. 3 times 20 is 60. 7 times 20 is 140. 10 times 20 is 200. So you can see that the constant, the thing that is the same, for all of those corresponding values is the multiplier 20. Let's try another example from a table of values. Here we have x and y values. To find the constant of proportionality, divide each of the y values by the corresponding x value. And what you notice that's constant between all of them is 1.5. So the multiplier 1.5 is the constant of proportionality for the values in this table. Now let's find the constant of proportionality from a graph. The first thing we need to do is to locate a couple of points on the line that cross both the x and y axis. So we find a couple of points that cross directly on those lines. And now we make our table. Now that we have a table of values, we can easily see that to go from 1 to negative 4, you have to multiply times negative 4. From negative 1 to 4, you have to go to multiply by negative 4. From 2 to negative 8, the multiplier is negative 4. And from negative 2 to negative 4, the multiplier equals 8, the multiplier is again negative 4. Remember that a negative times a negative is a positive. And here are your points. This was this point here. Here is 1, negative 4. Here is negative 1, 4. And negative 2, 8. All right, that ends this very brief video on the constant of proportionality. Enjoy the activity.